It's a bad, bad sign when a movie director begins to think of himself as a myth maker. It has been said of Pauline that she had the greatest bullshit detector of anyone around. She pointed out this huge fraudulent aspect to the story that you had just glided right by. And like the thing that made you mad is she just kind of destroyed the movie for you because she pointed out something that was obviously there. As soon as you thought, ah, oh, I know she's going to like this movie, she would just pull the rug out from under you. And this limp myth of a grand plan that justifies slaughter and ends with resurrection has been around before. Kubrick's storyline accounting for evolution by an extraterrestrial intelligence is probably the most gloriously redundant plot of all time. And although his intentions may have been different, 2001 celebrates the end of man. I agreed with her position on 2001. You know, it's all subjective. That's the best opinion you can have about movies, that's subjective. My mind is going. A critic should stimulate you to develop your own opinion. Okay, you're, not, you're not there to be converted to the, to the you know, critic's viewpoint. 2001 is a celebration of a cop-out. It says man is just a tiny nothing on the stairway of paradise. There is an intelligence out there in space controlling your destiny from ape to angel, so just follow the slab.